Who is he? Satan. That's his name, Satan. No one even questions why he's demonized. Is it the color of his skin? Is it his sexuality? Is it something he did? But once someone is demonized as Satan, oh well then it's okay to torture them. I wasn't aware of how, just how deep that mentality runs in Western, among Western people, until I read about Yi Ming Yuan. Yi Ming Yuan from London, a London born half Chinese, half Singaporean boy, became a DJ, did some bad stuff. He was naughty, mischievous. He had the spirit of life in him. I think the authorities in Singapore decided he was Satan. They sentenced him to 24 strokes of the cane. It's the maximum number of strokes that a person can be sentenced to under Singapore law. What shocked me wasn't just the severity of his sentence, 24 strokes of the cane plus 20 years in prison, for what in the West would not be even considered drug trafficking, it was small quantities. And he was selling to his mates at work. In the Western world, you get a little rap on the knuckles. Singapore, when I say 24 strikes of the cane, I'm not talking like the headmaster at school. Oh, he'd wish it was like that. No, 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 they, they seem to think that if you're gonna cane someone, the authorities, I mean, the government in Singapore seems to think that if you're gonna cane someone, you do it with the maximum possible force that can be done by a human being. So you train your caners, you select your caners to be people who can swing a cane as hard as it's humanly possible to swing a cane. So the skin disintegrates on contact. One stroke and you're scarred for life. Wherever that cane struck, at around 160 kilometers per hour with a force of around 90 kilos, the skin is gone, blood comes out. Can you imagine 24 strokes? What that would do to your ass, your backside, your butt cheeks. Can you imagine what that would do? And it's not just the 12 minutes of torture, which I noticed a lot of people from, well, I don't know how many, but this is what surprised me. People from Britain, privileged people, educated people from Britain, getting on their computers and typing comments. Well, you know, he did the crime, he has to do the time. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, or pay the price. Needless to say, people in Singapore were, don't question our legal system, don't break our laws. I think it's kind of weird that governments can abduct people and torture people and disappear people. And so many people, even from Western countries, support that and are happy to conflate punishment with torture. Of course it's torture, that's why it's called punishment and nothing else, one person wrote. Of course it's torture, that's why it's called punishment and nothing else. Oh, I see. I see. That's how it is. So it's okay to torture people as long as you are a government. As long as you're in government. As long as you have authority and the law is on your side. As with Peter Dutton in Australia and uh, the refugees on Manus Island who have set themselves on fire. And Peter Dutton says, yeah, well, that's the fault of lefties because they encourage it. I find that a little hard to swallow. I find the whole, it's okay to torture people if it's part of our legal system, it's part of our law. It's been done, it's been done legally 
therefore it's okay. Australia doesn't cane people. None of the refugees have been caned. But they are being held against their free will, indefinitely. And then they, you know, start playing word games about what detention means. Oh, they're not detained. They're free to wander around Manus Island or Nauru. They can go home to their own country if they want. Anytime. They can go home, back to where they came from. Well, if they're a refugee, that's not actually an option. If they've fled from a country because their life's in danger, or they've had family members tortured, killed, or they've been tortured already, a lot of them have, in their home country. Some of them have. Some have fled because they feared they would be if they didn't flee. Well, returning is not a realistic option for them. And when you start saying, no, you can't go to this country, you can't go to that country, as they did, New Zealand offered to take people. And then, no, you can't, so every country's got its own laws, but it really troubles me when people say, oh, well, listen, it's under the law, so punishment, torture is punishment is fine. Actually, that's what I didn't like about George W. Bush. He seemed to be very pro-torture. Yeah, Guantanamo Bay. You know there's people still there from Afghanistan. There's people still in Guantanamo Bay in prison who did nothing, nothing to anybody, nothing. Do you know they dropped leaflets out of airplanes over Afghanistan? They dropped leaflets offering huge rewards if they handed over people who were terrorists, people who were members of Al-Qaeda, people who were members of Taliban. And big financial rewards. There were people offered up, there were people given over, handed over, who were students. They weren't members of the Taliban, they weren't members of Al-Qaeda. They handed them over purely because there was a big financial reward There's people in government, in Pakistan, who pocketed thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars in reward money for handing over a whole bunch of students who are not criminals, they're not members of Taliban, they're not members of Al-Qaeda. At each processing checkpoint, they were told, oh, don't worry, we know, we know, we know, we know, don't worry, we'll clear it up. Just and those people, those poor, innocent students are still to this day in Guantanamo Bay prison. They've been waterboarded, they've been tortured. And people sit back and say, oh, well, George W. Bush, you know, he's, a, he's basically a good guy, he's just pretty stupid, you know, but he was pro-torture. They tortured the wrong people. Those people are still in Guantanamo Bay prison. I'm sorry, but I don't buy all this bullshit excusing the, sh the horror, the horror of what's been done to people under the law, including Western law of the USA. Oh my God. Australia advertises holidays, Singapore Airlines, on all its radio stations like it's nothing. Singapore is a great place, you know, it's not. Singapore's a death trap. You go there on a holiday, you are risk taking a huge risk. If you get caught with drugs on you, and let's face it, drugs sometimes get planted. You get caught with drugs on you in Singapore, you are gone. It's a trip to hell for you. Not just jail, caning, jail, maybe execution. A lot of countries are like that. And yet in the West, they advertise holidays to these destinations as if, oh, they're wonderful, you know, just go and, you know, and, you know, chances are, if you're not a drug addict and you're not gay, not homosexual, because that's a caning offense in Singapore, six strokes of the cane for being homosexual in Singapore. So, you know, these people that say, hey, well, it's their, it's their laws. If you go there and you dis disrespect their laws, you deserve what you get. Well, I think you people suck. 
I think you absolutely suck. You sit, you're privileged Westerners, educated, sitting back in your armchairs on your laptops and you are supporting the torture of the unlucky few in countries that torture people under their laws. Torture is never okay. It's not punishment when you torture someone. That is not punishing people. It's torture. It doesn't matter if you're a government or if you're some lunatic out in a state forest somewhere that takes people out the back and tortures them. It's the same thing. There is zero difference. So all you privileged, educated Westerners sitting back in your armchairs supporting torture, then why, what is criminal justice system? Again, can someone explain it to me? If it's about, if it's about torturing people that have committed minor offenses and innocent people, can someone please explain it to me? Because I've lost my, like, my sense of right and wrong right now. I've lost my sense of human and non-human, human and inhuman, psychopath and normal, has sort of disappeared into a, a, a bloody mist. Red rain, you might say. A bloody mist of red rain that's falling from a hurricane, category five, monster, avenger, destroyer, Lorenzo. This is someone who cares, someone who has a heart and empathy for the suffering of another human being. See, it's kind of interesting because I'm not against, I'm not even against corporal punishment. I'm not like someone who cringes because someone's getting caned. But I do, if the caning is being done in a way that is bloodthirsty and so extreme that the after effects are even worse than the caning itself. See, that young man, he's no angel. And I'm not one to say, oh, they should just let him out. I think he should do a punishment, but not be tortured. And people who say punishment and torture are the same thing, well, I hope you don't also say, oh, thank God for our soldiers who sacrificed their lives to defeat Hitler. Because if you say that at the same time, then you're a complete wanker. And the truth would be our, all those soldiers, those millions of soldiers who died in World War I and II, but especially World War II, that's the one that was against Hitler. Well, they died for nothing. It was pointless, pointless exercise. Because we're still living in a world where people are being tortured under the law. And what did Hitler do? He tortured people under the law. Okay, maybe not him himself. Personally, I think the architect of the Holocaust was Himmler. Heinrich Himmler. Heinrich Himmler. And you know, German. It's kind of interesting because the German boy is part of all this. His name is Jake. A German boy. Well, not really. German-American, actually. Like Donald Trump. German-American. Another similarity. Trump's a Christian, right? He's always talking about God. He's a conservative. Like Peter Dutton in Australia. Conservative Christian. Peter Dutton, Donald Trump, very similar characters. Bolsonaro in Brazil, very similar. Not a lot of difference. Extreme right wing, Christian conservative, climate change deniers, they don't like refugees, they like to demonize refugees, they like to demonize, and with Trump it's not even indirect, I mean he just came out the other day and said some senators, female senators who are black should go back to their own countries if they don't like America. I mean, that's just outright racism. It's pig-headed, disgusting racism. And the truth is, about f almost 50% of Americans support that enthusiastically. And I'm just wondering like, how many of those people support torture as well. Lorenzo is going to hit the USA. 
that's why I'm bringing the USA into this conversation. I'm not just making it about Singapore and the boy from London, who they tortured by caning him 24 times. Maybe Lorenzo, the date and time when Lorenzo makes landfall in the USA, is going to reflect something to do with that boy, that young man. I think of him as a boy because he thinks like a boy. He has the brain of a boy. He has the mind of a boy. In other words, he's foolish. What does the Bible say? Stripes are for the backs of fools. I guess in Singapore they say, well, well actually it's for the backside and not just stripes, but we're going to scar you for life. See, even in the Bible where it says stripes, are for the backs of fools. They're not talking about hitting someone so hard that they're scarred for life. Jesus, you know, Jesus, Joshua, Josh. It's like J, there's no letter J back then. His name was Joshua. Joshua, Joshua, torture victim, crucifixion victim, excruciating. That's where the word excruciating comes from. It comes from crucify, crucifixion, crucify the Messiah boy, crucify Joshua. But his name wasn't Joshua, his name was Joshua. Joshua, he wasn't whipped, he was, he was scourged. Scourging is not whipping. Scourging is not flagellation. It's not like whipping with a leather whip. No, 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 it's metal, man. They used metal. If you've seen the Passion of the Christ, you know what I'm talking about. It's, it's bloodthirsty, ghastly, grisly, nasty, inhumane torture. It's not punishment, it's torture. And that's just the flogging, never mind the crucifixion. What the Romans used to do was barbaric, cruel. I'm not suggesting atheism is the answer to the cruelty that's done in the name of religion. Conservative Christians, Muslims, Hindus, they've all done it. They've all tortured people in the name of their God or gods. In India, the Hindus back in the day, part of their culture, the widow, the widow of the dead man, the lady was expected to throw herself on the funeral pyre and burn. And they did. They didn't all. Not all of them had the character, the strength of character to throw themselves on the blazing wood pile. So a lot of them were forced onto it, tied to it. Or if they decided after a minute or so of burning alive that they couldn't handle it, then they were tied to it. Religion is sometimes evil, sadistic, it involves torture, but Jesus was not tortured by religious people. It was the Romans. They were an atheist state. Anyone who says secular, that's why we should live in a secular society. Well, Rome was a secular society. They were the, among the most brutal torturers on earth. So I don't want the takeaway of my video to be, oh, well, we should not have religion and we should just be secular and everyone should follow common sense. People never follow common sense. Humans are fundamentally flawed creatures. And a surprising number of humans are sadists. The only sadists that are okay are the honest ones. Those few kinky people who get off on spanking, whipping each other consensually they are not bad people. They're not forcing others to do stuff against their free will. But all the conservatives look at them and say, they're a bunch of freaks. Anything that's not normal, according to society, conservatives don't like them. No matter who, what they do, no matter how they're different, it's like, you're not normal, we don't like you. That seems, that's the guts of conservatism. It's like, oh, you're too weird. You're too weird. We don't like you. 
you're a reject. Demonization of the minority, whether it's the gay person or the black person or the kinky person, the masochist, the sadist who happens to be honest about the fact that he likes spanking people or she, it's more of a female thing, it's more of a thing ladies do, spanking. It's like, oh, well, they are just weird, kinky freaks. Actually, no, they're not. They're people that have got the guts to be honest about who they are. And they're doing stuff consensually with people who are consenting, which is completely the opposite to what the state governments do. The government of the state. When it tortures someone, like Joshua. Josh, but his name wasn't Josh. There was no letter J back then. Joshua. Josh, you are. Josh, why? The letter Y. You see, why? Why, oh why, God, why are you doing this to me? Why have you done this to me? Why, oh why? Why are you letting me die like this? He wasn't happy about it. Jesus didn't want to die. He didn't want to suffer. He didn't want to be crucified. He didn't want to be tortured. He didn't want to see his blood going everywhere. At the end of his life, he didn't want to be looking at his loved ones through red, foggy haze of red mist, red rain. He didn't want that. But he had some gift. He knew it was coming, he knew that was his fate. It could be my fate to die in five seconds from now in a car crash, who knows? We never know, do we? When we're gonna see the red rain, red mist, red blood splatter everywhere. That's the nature of the world. It can turn around and fuck us any time it wants. It can. It could be this car now. It could come right at me, bam. Dead Rue on the road. Last thing it saw, red rain, red mist, bang, bang, blood, splatter. It's like, I'm sure Jesus was looking through a red mist, looking at the man he loved. That's what it says in John, Gospel of John, Jesus looking at the man he loved. A man, not Mary Magdalene, a man, a male disciple who he loved. Obviously in an erotic kind of way because romantic, erotic, sexual kind of way because it was the disciple Jesus loved. Jesus loved all his disciples, but this was the disciple Jesus loved who was leaning on his bosom at the Last Supper. Well, if Jesus had gone to Singapore and had a disciple of the same sex leaning on his bosom, he may have been at risk of exactly the same thing he got in Rome. He may have seen the red mist, red rain, blood splatter, blam, all over the place. From the cane, the category five cane, the hurricane, 12 L Lorenzo Z is 26. 26 letter of the alphabet is the letter Z. The letter before Z is Y. Why, oh why, God, why are you doing this to me? Why have you done this to me? God, why? Why? A bad boy, a mischievous brat, a boy with the spark of life, Yi Ming Yuan, DJ, 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 David, David equals, David is Nathan's middle name, Nathan David Breeze, Christian boy, he's a Christian, same as Jake. Nathan and Jake got together on the other side after they left this world. Because the last thing they saw, the last thing Jake saw was red. Red mist, red rain, blood splatter, boom. A bullet, bang, out of the dark. Hit him in the where? Throat, chest? No one quite knows. Bullet killed him. I reckon it hit him in the heart. Just a feeling. Right in the heart. Just an instant of bang, shot, no, bang, I'm gone. Red rain, red blood. And red rain is the book they drew my attention to. Red rain by R.L. Stein. It was Halloween. Halloween 2015 was right after they fucked me. When I say they fucked me, I mean the government. Immigration, Peter Dutton's department, fucked me. I went. I got put in a, I got put in a psychiatric 
unit against my free will. I got forced to take medication against my free will by the state government of New South Wales. Psychiatric unit. See, if you mention Satan, the demonized bad boy, Satan, if you say that name to a psychiatrist, they really don't like it. I think that's a real sign of, oh, you've got something seriously wrong with you, sonny boy. It's also an invitation for them to demonize you. Them and their bosses, their superiors. It's a big invite for them. Because Satan is like, it's the ultimate attraction for demonization. You just mentioned the name Satan. Oh wow, we can teach you a lesson, boy. Ye Ming Yuan. Why, why, why? I bet you he was thinking, why, 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 why? He's a bad boy. I mean, mischievous. Naughty. Spark of life. The smack of life. The smack of life is not torture. Torture takes away the life. It takes away the spark. Why, why, why? Yoshua, Ye Ming Yuan. Ye Ming Yuan. The letter Y is 25. The 25th letter of the alphabet. Satan equals 55. There's a photo of Ye Ming Yuan. Ye Ming Yuan. Y E M I N G Y U E N. Google the name. Singapore, Caning. Drug trafficker. Small quantities. I think it was crystal meth. And some marijuana. In the West? No big deal. In Singapore? 20 years jail, 24 strokes of the cane. He was a fool. He was silly. He was stupid. Absolutely. Why did he do it there? Why in Singapore? Why or oh, why or oh, why did I do it? He'd be thinking himself, why or oh, why did I do this? Why was I so stupid? 20 years in jail, that's a long time in jail. He did not murder anybody. He did not rape anybody. He did not hurt anybody. He did not torture anybody. It's a long time. It's a big punishment for consuming drugs and selling drugs to your mates at work. As a DJ, DJs, a lot of DJs, not all DJs, a lot of DJs have probably experimented with drugs. A lot of Western DJs, especially. He's from London, London born. See, he's like a boy. He's foolish. He does stupid things. He deserves a punishment, yes, but does he deserve to have the spark of life destroyed by torturers? No. No, he doesn't. That should never happen. That should never be done to anybody. And countries that do that to people should be boycotted. They should be completely boycotted and no one should fly on their airlines. I'm sorry, but torture is a... It's a, it's a crossing, it's a line you can't cross. If you're a human being, you don't torture. Simple as that. Oh, you can punish people. You have a criminal justice system for a reason. There's some people you don't want out and about because they are dangerous. There are killers, there are rapists. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but Yi Ming Yuan is not a killer. He's not a rapist. He's... He's naughty. He's bratty. He's done some naughty things. He deserves punishment, but he doesn't deserve torture. And he doesn't deserve 20 years in prison. I'm sorry, but I don't buy the bullshit of the conservatives. I never have. I don't care if they're atheists. I don't care if they're Christians. I don't care if they're Muslims, Hindus, or Buddhists. I don't buy the bullshit of conservatives. I don't give a shit what they are. I don't buy their bullshit either way. I don't buy their justifications. I don't buy, oh, it's our law. You respect our laws. No, I don't respect your laws. I don't respect you. You are torturers. Once you become a torturer, you are exactly the same as Ivan Malat. Actually, possibly worse. 
because 45 on my lap was innocent. Highly unlikely. It'd be a damn good frame up if he was. But the thing is, I've got no doubt about the authorities in Singapore being torturers. Zero doubt. They have zero remorse. They don't back down, ever. They never show clemency. Apparently. When do they show clemency? You know what's disturbing about Yi Ming Yuan? I read all about him in articles that go back to January and February. One in February. A whole stack in January. News stories from January 9th, 2019. Today, by the way, is the 20th of July. Saturday, 20th of July, 2019, today. I read all these stories about him and then... And then silence. It's like they disappeared him. They abducted him. They just took him. They just disappeared him. They abducted him. They kidnapped him. Tortured him and no one hears anything more. See, so state governments have that power to abduct people and torture them. I don't see a difference. At least with Ivan Malat's victims, they died within a few hours and their misery was over. The difference with Yu Ming Yuan is that after the physical torture, and it's not a caning where you suffer the pain of the cane and then, oh, well, thank God that's over with. Oh no, then you've got the, I can't, I can't have any clothing on my ass. I can't sit on the toilet and I can't sit down and I have to lie on my stomach for I don't know how long. Days, weeks, become a blur into months and well, my uh, mind, what happened to my mind? What happened to my mind? What happened to my life? Where am I? What's happening to me? Trauma, trauma, horror, blood, red, mist, red, rain, Jake, bang, bullet, out of the dark, blood, Heinrich, Himmler, Holocaust, Nazis. You know, Daniel and Samuel, they are blonde haired, blue eyed boys in red rain for R.L. Stone. Blonde haired, blue eyed, they could have been poster boys for Hitler. Nordic, beautiful lads. And you know what? It's kind of weird. Because Samuel's the boy with the psychic gift. He can hypnotize, or he can turn it up. Pyrokinesis. He can make heat. Heat. Fire. With his eyes. Like a welder. He can cut through metal, man. Samuel's got a fucking rare gift. It's a story, of course. But he's an alright kid. I mean, he's likeable. He's likeable. He kills people, but he's likeable. I mean, how is this possible? Well, he only kills people because Daniel manipulates him to. Daniel insists that he do it. Coerces him. Forces him. Man, Samuel doesn't really care. He's happy to do it for his brother. He's evil. Because he does it. If you do it, if you torture, you're evil. But prior to when he does it, he's likeable. He's a likeable kid at the start. You don't dislike Samuel. He thinks his brother's weird. Daniel's a weirdo. Daniel's the evil twin. Twins. Triplets. William said, we can catch up next Thursday at 1 p.m. I had a conversation with William once about the Nazis, about Hitler, about how Hitler was half Jewish, not half Jewish, he had a tiny bit of Jewish in him. But Hitler was possibly a bit on the gay side of town as well. He had some weird fetish stuff going on. All hidden away, obviously. In the dark, in the closet. That's the way with conservatives. Nazis. Not all conservatives are extremists. 
not all conservatives support torture. But I tell you what, I know a lot of conservatives who support Peter Dutton. I know a lot of conservatives who support Donald Trump. These are people who have tortured people. Even if it is just by keeping them in a place they don't want to be for a, a long period of time, separated from their family and their loved ones. That is mental torture. And when you force that upon people, you are a low-level torturer. It's not the same as what they do in Singapore. I'm not putting it on the same scale. I don't see a big difference between what they did to Yi Ming Yuen and what they did to Jesus, Yeshua, Joshua, Yeshua. William said it's kind of weird. It's almost like Hitler hated himself. He hated gays, homosexuals, or at least he persecuted them. They were treated the worst out of everyone in the Holocaust, the camps, death camps, Auschwitz, the concentration camps. See, Himmler just wanted to line up the Jews and shoot them. Hitler said, oh, that's not good imagery. No, do it some other way. People aren't gonna like that. Firing squads, big firing squads, now that's a bit, you know. Jake died by a bullet. Yeah, not the best uh, optics, you know. Red mist, red rain, blood, splatter, blah, 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 yeah. No, let's do it out of sight. Out of mind, out of sight. Gas, let's gas them. Out of mind, out of sight. Oh, they're gonna suffer much worse, but hey, no one's gonna see it. Keep it secret. Yeah, do it that way. Plus, we can listen to them die. Himmler was a sadist. Heinrich Himmler was a sadist. He wasn't a sexual sadist as in a kinky guy who got off on, well maybe he was too. Maybe he buried that, maybe he hid it in the dark and it grew something into something else. Something much worse. See, honesty is never bad. Sadist equals 72. The word sadist, 72. Painful is 79. It's like, why, oh why, 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 why me? Yoshua, Yi Ming Yuan, the letter Y. Satan is 55. Satan, Santa, December. All those words equal 55. William equals 79. William, William has the same value as handsome. He says it's kind of weird, you know. It's almost like Hitler hated himself. It's almost like he was killing himself. That's a pretty intelligent comment for a kid aged 11. It's very intelligent. Very smart. Very aware of how absurd Hitler's persecution of the Jews truly was, given that Hitler himself was part Jewish. He went to a lot of trouble to make sure nobody knew that. Eradicate my roots. Austria. The village where Hitler was born was, was burned to the ground. Just like the town in Red Rain. Daniel and Samuel, the boys who could have been poster boys for Hitler. Nice blonde boys with blue eyes. They, you know, burn the town to the ground because they want to rule the school. Daniel wants to rule the school. Daniel's the evil twin. Kind of weird because Daniel, Danny, Daniel, the evil twin. Daniel, Danny, Steve, Stephen. I get called Steve so much. Why? I don't know. Daniel, 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 Danny. Daniel was Jake's killer. I wasn't surprised, I shouldn't have been surprised to see his name. Daniel Heinrich, Daniel James Heinrich. James equals 48. That interval on the page at the start of this video, 48 minutes. Evil, 48. James. It's the middle name of Jake's killer. 
Daniel James Heinrich. Daniel, the evil twin in Red Rain. He goes by Danny. Danny Heinrich. He's a Christian, right? Conservative Christian. He had a photo of Hitler and Himmler in his house. When the FBI and the cops raided his house, that's what they found. A big portrait of Hitler and Himmler. They found a prayer book. He'd underlined something that meant something to him, something about God forgiving the sins. Something about forgiveness. Something about sins. He was a member of the National Guard. He had a Bible, too, in his house. A Bible. A page was torn out of the Bible, or was it the prayer book? He was a Christian. A Christian conservative. Obviously a conservative. Why was he obviously a conservative? Well, liberal people don't usually have portraits of Hitler in their house. Liberal, small l. People who, you know, celebrate diversity don't usually have portraits of Hitler in their house. It just doesn't go together, you know? Hitler did not celebrate diversity. Not really. No, no. He liked to persecute minorities. That was his way. Bush, George W. Bush is German, did you know that? B-U-S-H was the Americanized version. Bush with a C before the S. Bush, or was it after the S? There's a C if it's German. You add the letter C somewhere in their name. And Bush is German. Trump is German. It's funny because Angela Merkel stood up the other day. The president of Germany stood up and she stood in solidarity with the women of color, the black women, Congress women, who Trump said, if you don't like America, go home to your own country. Angela Merkel, white German president, stood up in solidarity with those black women, Congress women, who Trump, I don't know how to describe what he did to those ladies by saying that. It's just disgusting. And the fact that almost half of America are happy to support something so freaking vulgar as Donald Trump, something so freaking racist as Donald Trump, let's just say what it is, fucking racist, disgusting. Well, almost half of America enthusiastically supports that, obviously, because he's the fucking president. Well, you know what? I think that's fucking disgusting. So does Jake, so does Nathan. They're with me on this. They are with me in feeling a lot of empathy for Yi Ming Yuan shut in a jail cell after being caned 24 times with a Category 5 cane. Lorenzo is coming. America is the most powerful nation in the world. They are the one nation that can truly make a difference on human rights. They're not even trying. They are effectively supporting violations of human rights, torture, abuse. It's disgusting. America is by far the most powerful nation in the world. What America does makes a big difference to the rest of the world. When America emboldens torturers, people really suffer everywhere. Yi Ming Yuan would have copped it anyway in Singapore. Those laws have been existing there for quite a while. It's ironic actually that a boy born in London suffered the Category 5 cane in Singapore given that the cane was introduced to Singapore by Great Britain. A boy who's half Chinese, half Singaporean, native, suffered something that was introduced by Britain back when Britain was kind of evil. Go back a bit over half a century. It's a good bit more now. 70 years ago, Germany was the evil ones. Sadists, torturers, killers. Now we've got Angela Merkel standing in solidarity with the women who are being the people, the black people, people of color, Latinos, who are being demonized by a white German-American president. 